Hello everyone and welcome back to another James as Well video. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a review on Halford's Advanced 120 piece mechanics tool set. First things first, we'll talk about the box. Um, it comes in a really nice blow molded case, very heavy duty, it's not flimsy, soft plastic, it's actually some pretty tough stuff. Around the edges it's all knurled so you can get a good grip on it even if you've got oily hands. All on the bottom of the handle is all rubber so you can get a good grip on it. It has four different latches on it. It has a plastic one this side, plastic one the other side, and on the front it has two nice metal latches which flip up and down. Flip the two on the sides and then it allows you to open it. Um, it comes with a nice little foam insert which I've kept um, to keep any moisture out and to keep the tools in place. The hinges actually have metal pins in which you can remove um, so if you wanted to put this in your toolbox you could split this thing in half, insert each level into your toolbox. So now let's talk about the tools. Okay so here we have in front of me the Halfords Advanced 120 piece tool set. There's actually quite a wide variety of these sets at Halfords. Um, they range from small 30 piece sets all the way up to the 200 piece sets. Depending on what you need and what tools you need, you know, you need to look closely at what comes in the kit and make sure the one that you get best suits you. Now I picked this up when it was on offer. Um, the Halfords Advanced kits very often go on offer, they're usually half price, um, especially when it comes to Christmas um, and the typical sale times of the year. Now this one covers pretty much everything that I use when it comes to working on my car. Um, we've got spanners, we've got sockets, we've got every type of ratchet um, and the various other bits to go along with them. Now I'm going to be talking about things that I like about this kit, things that I don't like about this kit and things that I would like to see changed in this kit. So I'm going to make my way from this side all the way over to this side. I'm going to talk you through everything that comes in the kit. Um, I'll give my opinion on the things that are inside the kit. So yeah, let's get started. So on the left hand side here we have our spanners, we have a few deep sockets and we also have our spark plug sockets. It also comes with a nice 3 8 breaker bar here. So these spanners here are metric, they range from 8 all the way up to 17 with 10, 12, 13 and 14 in between. Uh, these are the most common sizes that you're going to find working on the car. Uh, if you need to add extras you could always throw in a 19 in there um, and a 15 if you need them. The spanners themselves are pretty nicely made, they're fairly long, they have a nice chrome finish have the Halfords Advanced stamped on there. So yeah, they're pretty nice set of spanners. They're gonna cover you for pretty much any eventuality that you're gonna find working on your car. So I like them. Next, at the bottom of the spanners, we have a 3 8 breaker bar. It's not too long. This thing measures in at around eight inches long. The benefit I can find of this is if you've got a really stiff bolt, you can stick a pipe on the end of this and you haven't got to worry about breaking any of your ratchet mechanism and your ratchet itself. Um, so this will come in handy if you come across some really stubborn bolts. Moving over to this side, we then have our 3 8 deep sockets. These are all 12 point and they range from 11 all the way to 17 with the 12, 13, 14 and 15. Nice little sockets. Uh, as I said, they're 3 8 drive, 12 point, so they're not ideal. Um, I would like to see some six-point stuff in here, but they will do the job. And finally on this side, we have two spark plug sockets. We have a 10 millimeter spark plug socket, and we also have a 14 millimeter spark plug socket. As you can see, they come with a nice little rubber boot inside so that they grip onto the spark plug and you don't lose it. So that's pretty much it for this side. So we're gonna move on to this side over here. So we'll start off with the sockets. We have 3 8 standard. We have 3 8 metric. The metric range from a nine millimeter all the way up to 24 millimeter on this side, the larger one here. And then the standard stuff ranges from 3 8 to 7 8 Now I'm quite glad that this came with some standard sockets because these are the only standard sockets that I actually own. Um, so this is nice to know that these are in here if I ever need them. Again, all these sockets are 12 point. I prefer 6 point myself, but these will do the job. We also in here get some impact sockets. These range from 17, 19, 21 and 23 which as you know are the typical wheel bolt sizes. These impact sockets are all half inch drive, so if you've got a half inch impact gun, these will work nicely on that. These feel like really, I haven't actually had to use these yet, as I have got some other impact sockets, but I imagine these will do a pretty good job. They feel pretty decent. We then have some quarter inch stuff down in this corner here, and um, we've got some deep, some shallow. The shallows actually come in metric and standard, so in the metric we've got four all the way up to 13, with nothing missed in between and in the standard stuff we have 5 30 seconds all the way up to half inch um, I don't think anything is missed in between but I'm not too familiar with standard sizes so forgive me if I'm wrong the deep stuff we have got from 5 to 10 with nothing missed in between now what I like about the quarter inch stuff is it is all six point if you can see that all the deep stuff and all the shallow stuff is all six point which is really nice 
Now some more sockets we have here is the inverted Torx. Let me just give you a bit of a closer view of these. Um, these are very common on a Vauxhall uh, and many other brands. So these are nice. These range from an E8 all the way up to E20. I would like to see a full set in here, like all the way up to E24. This will cover the majority of jobs. We then have some hex and torque sockets down here. We have a we have a six millimeter, eight millimeter, and a 10 millimeter hex. And we then have a T45, T50, T55, and a T60. So we've got pretty decent sized torques on this side. Um, and they are also the tamper proof ones with the little hole in the end, so they're great. They also come in 3 8 drive, all of these. Now moving on to our ratchets, we have a quarter inch, a three eighths and a half inch. So we cover pretty much everything that we're gonna ever need. These ratchets are all 48 tooth, as you can hear. They're pretty fine tooth, um, they do the job. They feel like pretty good quality, pretty sturdy. Along with the ratchets, we also have some extensions to match. We have a quarter inch, which is about one and a half, two inches. We have a three eighths one, which is about three inches. And we also have a half inch drive, which is about four or five inches. I would like to see some longer ones in here, but these ones will do the job. Um, along with that, we also have a 3.8 swivel, as you can see. So get into tight places with that. Um, and also we have a nut driver. This is a quarter inch nut driver. It's also got quarter inch drive in the end, so you can stick a ratchet on the end of this. Um, it comes with a quarter inch bit adapter and some quarter inch bits to go along. So we've got uh, we've got everything we kind of need here. We've got flat ones, we've got Torx ones, we've got Phillips, we've got Posi Drive, um, and we've got some hex ones as well in there. Uh, so this covers pretty much everything. In addition to all that, under the ratchets, hiding under here, we have a little set of hex keys. Um, I haven't used these yet, as they look pretty cheap and flimsy. Um, I've got a better set that I use more regularly, but they're in there if you need them, which is quite handy. So that pretty much covers everything that you get inside of the kit. I'm now gonna go ahead and talk about things that I like about the kit and things that I'm not too keen on about the kit and things that I would like to see in this kit that are not in this kit. Okay, let's talk about the things that I like. I like the quarter inch stuff, the six point quarter inch where you get the standard, you get the metric and you get the deeps. I really like these. Next thing I really like is the Torx and the Hex sockets. Now these I've used loads. I come across Torx a lot. Um, so I've used the heck out of these things, and these are great. I absolutely love them. Um, they're 3 8 drives, so they fit on a 3 8 ratchet. Absolutely great. Um, haven't stripped anything out yet, so really like these. I also really like the inverted Torx sockets. Um, I use these pretty much my whole Project SXI build. If you haven't seen my Project SXI, um, I'll link it in the description. But I used these my whole build, um, and they done me proud. They didn't strip any bolts. They fit on them really nicely. Um, even some of the ones that were corroded, they fit on really nice. Yeah, so these were great. Now I'm going to talk about some things that I'm not too keen on about this kit. First one, and this is the biggest one, the ratchets, okay? Now these ratchets are great, they're well built. The ratcheting mechanism itself is great. Um, the fact that they've got 48 teeth, the fact that how they're designed. Um, everything I love about them, apart from one thing, okay? And I'm going to show you that now. So if I grab a quarter inch socket and I put it on the end here, that's great, okay? But look at this wobble. Can you see how much play is in that? Let me just get a bit closer. That is what I do not like, all right? So if I, let me just try and get a better angle. Look at that play. Now if I grab my other ratchet, this is my, my snap on quarter inch one, and I put the same socket on, okay? Look how much plays in that. Like a millimeter of play, and I'm wobbling that side to side. Nothing. Now, obviously, I don't expect the ratchets in this kit to be as good as a snap on ratchet, but that play just winds me up. Every time I use it, it winds me up. I just don't like it. It's like a pet peeve of mine. And it's not just a quarter inch ratchet. The same goes for the 3 8 If I grab a 3 8 socket, I put it on normally. And again, that play. And just to prove that it's not the sockets, I'll go ahead and put it on my Snap-on 3 8 ratchet. Same socket on there. Literally zero, nothing at all. My finger's moving, but the socket is dead still. Now, again, I don't expect the ratchets to be Snap-on quality, 
but I do expect them to have a pretty decent quality. Considering this is the Halford Advanced Kit, um, these ratchets are kind of like the best ones that they do. So that's a little bit disappointing. Now the half inch drive one is not too bad. This one, the wobble on this one is not as bad as what the other two are, but still it's not great. The other thing I don't like about this kit is the fact the sockets are all 12 point, excluding the uh, quarter inch stuff. Every other socket in here is 12 point. Now, 12 point are great for certain situations, but for the majority of stuff, I like to use six point just because I feel like it grasps onto the bolt a little bit better. And that's pretty much it. I haven't really got anything else bad to say. For the money that I paid, this was actually 60 pounds. Uh, I think I bought it near to my birthday, around July time. I think this was actually after my birthday I got this. I cannot complain. Uh, this thing can sit in the back of your car and it pretty much covers you for every eventuality when it comes to a uh, roadside fix. After buying this kit, I would recommend it to others. Um, the only thing I would recommend is to maybe buy a ratchet to replace these ones with, um, preferably a snap-on one, but any other decent ratchet, uh, I would stick in place of these and maybe keep these as a more of a backup ratchet. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll give you guys some close-ups and some better shots of these tools. Hope you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a thumbs up if you did. If you want to see me do more tool reviews, let me know what sort of tools you want to see me do. I'll see you guys in another video. Ideas, we got us to the ways to dress, what not to do. As this has grown, more hands reach out, they pull my strings, play off my mind. I'm paranoid, I'm tripping, every 10 feet from slipping. Next tape days, we missing, but I know these songs will play. I'm senseless, but I'm Stay. Tell me something, tell me something that I want to hear All that criticism in my head goes out my ears The right resolve is never given, need to grab a hold